This is an intro to solving trig equations, the first part. Hopefully you've already slogged through the PowerPoint presentation. Um, and then this is just for a little bit more information. Then we're going to start going through some exercises together. So obviously whenever you go to solve a regular old algebraic equation, what you want to do is try to get the variable by itself. You're isolating the variable. So here you're just devoting, dividing both sides by 2. Right? x equals a half. Very easy. OK. Whenever you go to solve a trig equation, what you have to do is try to get the trig expression by itself. So here we're talking about getting sine x by itself. So you would do it the same way. You divide both sides by 2, so sine x equals a half. Now you have to work backwards and find this angle measurement that gives you a sine value of a half. So let's, same thing, draw ourselves a unit circle. The sine is the y coordinate the point on the unit circle. At a half, that's at 30 degrees or pi over 6, so you're going to do it in radians. But since sine is periodic, you're going to have an infinite number of solutions. So if we come back around to this point again, after 360 degrees, we get another one, and another one, and another one. So the first solution would be 30 degrees. And then the next one after that, 30 plus 360 is 390. Add another 360, etc. But you don't want to have to list them all out. All this is, all these are, it's just a multiple of 360. So we write that like, kind of like we did with the asymptotes. So 30 degrees plus 360 in. The in is just an integer. If it's 1, then I get. 30 plus 360. If it's 0, I get just the 30. If it's negative 1, then I get negative 330, which is just going around backwards, but still ending up in that same place. Or I can do the same thing in radians. Here, instead of adding 360, of course, I'll write 2 in pi. Or you can write that as in 2 pi, or 2 pi in. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. As long as you get it, as long as you understand it. OK, however, there's another set of solutions beyond those coterminal ones. And that's another place on the unit circle that also has the same sine value of a half. That's over there in quadrant 2, like so. That's at 150 degrees. That's just the supplement of 30, 180 minus 30. So you do the same thing for it. x is equal to 150 degrees. 510 if you add 360, etc. Or you can just do it by multiples of 360. If you're going to do this in radians, we've got 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6. That's 5, 6. 5 pi over 6. Add 2 pi to it. Add 2 pi to it again to get all of the solutions. So you have to do both sets of those answers in order to get this right, in order to get all of the solutions. Conclusion here, um, the equation, any trig equation like sine x equals a half has an infinite number of solutions since it's periodic. So if you find one solution, just add or subtract the period to find some more. That's just the coterminal angle. If you were to put this in your calculator, like inverse sine of a half, you're only going to get one answer from your calculator because the calculator is programmed for, um, the, within the correct range from negative 90 to positive 90 to negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So to get those other solutions, you got to use the unit circle and figure out where else you have that exact same trig ratio.